Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Stephen Stokes. Welcome to the channel, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Today, we're gonna to talk about magic wands. This is a magic wand. This is the uh, wand of, uh, the outer wand of double power by the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. It's, it's a magic wand. It's found in the neophyte degree. We're not gonna talk about this type of magic wand today. Instead, we're gonna talk about this type of magic wand, the flex beam. And I'm telling you right now that this is a magic wand. The amount of results that this produces and the amount of change you can make in your body, I can't explain it, right? I've used this for a long time. This is mine. I own this one. This wasn't given to me for free. I endorse this product as probably the greatest self-help tool that anybody could buy. It's not expensive and it has the ability to create a strong innate healing power within your body that can literally help you with anything that's wrong. What I find is that most people that buy these, they don't use them correctly. Now, if you purchase one of these and you use the link on my website, you can get a discount. You help support my channel and that's appreciated. But when you get it, most people, they thumb through the instruction manual, which essentially tells you two things. It tells you, first of all, that you place this on whatever part of your body is hurting. And secondly, it explains how there are three settings, one, two, and three. Number one being a very light, superficial setting, two deeper, and three, the deepest setting. So what most people do, right, is they take it, let's say their neck hurts, they put it on their neck, and they hit setting number three because they think, well, three is the deepest, it's the most effective in their minds. That's what they do. And you can do that too. And if you do that, you'll get some results. Um, you may get great results, but there's a better way to use this device. There is a much better way to use it, and I want to explain today how I use it, because I use this every single day, every day. Uh, I use it on parts of my body that are not in pain. In fact, I would say that pain would be the least, um, the least popular reason that I use this. I use it instead for my overall health. I use it to build my health, and that's what I want to share with you today. So yes, it does have these three settings, right? One, two, and three. But these three settings are in no way um, meant to meant to suggest strength or, or strength as far as effectiveness. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Setting one is pure red light therapy. That's going to be the absolute strongest amount of red light frequency that you can use. It's on setting one. Now, setting two and setting three are less intense red light therapy, but it combines infrared therapy with it as well. Now, personally, I have an infrared sauna, right? And what I'm most interested in using the flex beam for is the red light therapy, not the infrared. I use setting one a lot on most everything. The argument is, of course, is that when you use a setting one, you get this large amount of intense red light, but it doesn't penetrate very deep. That could be true. So if, for example, you're treating a deep structure like something in the spine, um, or maybe an organ or something like that. The idea is that you want to use something that's going to penetrate deeply and that, that infra, infrared radiation goes much deeper. So automatically people will use setting three. That is actually what flex beam recommends you do. I'm not saying not to do that. I'm saying that there's another way. There's another ideology that you can adapt that you may find works better. We have to remember that the different parts of your body have nerves and those nerves come off the spine and those nerve roots have branches that go to the surface, to the skin. And in fact, there's something called dermatomes and I'll put up a little picture. And these dermatomes are patch areas of the skin that are basically controlled and innervated by nerves that come off the spine. So as an example, right, the areas of the buttocks, those areas are innervated, sensory innervation by nerves that come off of the lower spine, okay? Likewise, for example, as another example, the uh, bicep muscles, right? The area of the bicep muscle here, the skin on the surface of the bicep muscle has little nerve receptors. And if we trace those little sensory branches of the nerve back, it goes up to the lower mid to lower neck, right? That C5, C6 area of the, of the spine. And so 
if we want to treat deep parts of the body, we don't necessarily have to go in there deep and get at those structures. We can treat the um, associated parts of the skin on the surface. We can treat it with an extreme amount of red light, like the setting number one, really dose it with a high dose of photons. And because of this connection between the uh, skin, the skin's sensory nerves, and the deeper structures, we can send the signal back into the spine to treat those areas. So how does this work? It's very simple, right? Let's say you have a problem with the L4 area of your lower back. You can look at the dermatome, dermatome chart. You can see that that area is, has branches that go to the front of the thigh. And so you could apply this device. I would use the number one setting because that's the maximum intensity of photons. You can apply this to the front of your thigh and you can treat that L4 region of your lower back through the thigh. Sounds like magic, right? It works. I find it works better than just taking this, putting it on the number three setting and putting it on my lower back. That works as well, but I just find that treating the dermatomes, treating the skin surface with maximum amount of red light, for me, it works better. But maybe a better uh, strategy would be to incorporate both until you get confidence that what I'm saying actually works. There is a, a thing called Hinton's Law, and Hinton's Law suggests that what I'm talking about is true, right? Hinton's Law suggests that um, you can treat deep structures of the joint by stimulating the superficial skin areas around that joint. So the idea would be that, for example, you could treat the, um, the knee joint through the skin on the surface of the knee with this, with this ideology of this activation of the sensory nerves. It's fascinating. So you need to study a dermatome chart to know what I'm talking about. You can use this for that. Now, like I mentioned, I use this every day. So I'm not in pain every day, right? What do I use it for? I use it for all sorts of things, right? Um, I also use this to stimulate organs in my body. Now, if I want to stimulate, for example, liver or gallbladder, it's very difficult to get this device on my gallbladder. There's a lot of stuff there it has to go through. But again, based on the ideology of, of stimulating these sensory nerves, What's, what do I have to do? It's very simple. Most of these patches of skin that are related to the deeper structures, like the organs, are basically uh, in front of those organs on the surface of the skin. So for a gallbladder, it's really simple. Get an anatomy book, find out where the gallbladder is, and it's right here on the right side. Take this, set it on setting one, put it basically over the structure, and treat. And because you're stimulating the skin on the surface of the organ, you're going to, through this reciprocal intervention, inter, right, inter, intervention, you're going to get in there and you're going to help stimulate the gallbladder. It's remarkable. You can also do this with kidneys. You can do this with sexual organs. You can do this with any part of your body that you want to treat, that you want to stimulate. And that's what I do. I also use this on blood vessels in my body, right? So we have these carotid arteries in our neck. Most people know about those. They're kind of important. We have this aorta that runs down here. Again, get an anatomy book, make yourself familiar with these structures. So for the carotid arteries, right, they're in here. And if I take this device and I place it on the carotid artery, either this way, or if I use the, the uh, typical flex beam protocol like this, where I'm getting it right into those, right into those carotids, right? There we go. Right into those carotids. And I use, the carotid arteries are very superficial. They're not that deep, right? They're like, you know, they're like right in here. And so if I want to, I can use the number one setting. I don't have to go very deep. Blast it with photons. And I'm going to stimulate the blood that's flowing through the carotids with this red light radiation, with these photons. That blood is going to go from my carotids to the brain, throughout my body, right? And so the stimulation of the red frequency is going to furthermore go throughout my body. It's going to help to feed my body because the blood feeds the body with that healing energy. It's going to help the mitochondria. It's going to do a lot of things. I made other videos explaining the mechanisms uh, of how this works. You can look at those if you wish. You can just go on Flexbeam's website. They've got a lot of great uh, 
references there on the studies if you're interested in that sort of thing. If you want to geek out and get absorbed in the theories and the mechanisms of what this does to the mitochondria and what red light therapy does and the NASA story and all that stuff, you can get into that. But, you know, look, that's not my thing, right? Um, I know about it, but if I'm sitting here on this video and I'm telling you about that stuff, if I'm explaining to you the physics of light, <laughs> it's not because I'm a physicist, right? It's because I read it on Wikipedia or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm reading the stuff from somewhere else and then I'm making a video and I literally am having like a, a piece of paper in front of me like this and I'm reading, well, you know, this is what the, this is the frequency of red light. This is what it does to the mitochondria. I don't know that stuff. I read it like you read it. What I do know though is clinical. I know clinical experience because I worked with patients for over 20 years and I still do here in Florida, Cape Coral, Florida. And so during my 20 years of clinical experience, I've seen thousands of patients. I continue to help patients. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. And that's what I bring to the table. And, and sometimes people, like I made a video on um, magnets, which I use a lot of, and somebody called me out on the magnets, right? Some physicist called me out on, on some mechanism um, that I mentioned on the magnets. And by the way, as it turned out, he wasn't correct. But at the time, I hadn't researched it to see if he was right or wrong. And I just said to him, hey, man, you could be right. You know, I'm bringing the experience to the table. I know that if I use this this way, these are the results I get. And it's up to the scientists to catch up and to figure it out, in, in my opinion. Now, as it turned out with the, with the physicists and the magnets, I actually was right. Um, but it doesn't matter, right? It's all about clinical results. That's what I'm about. This flex beam, right, is a magic wand. And you should get one of these. You should use it for your blood vessels, for organs, for pain, for your joints. You should use it if you're trying to heal cartilage in your body that's damaged, herniated discs. You should use it if you've got problems with any part of your body that you want to either regenerate and heal or something that you want to increase the health in. So maybe you don't have any pain at all. Maybe you just want to increase performance. This is the number one go-to, right? And I'll turn it on here because it's cool to see it on the video. I'm going to put it on number one. And here's number one and you get a good sense of it. Check it out. It is so cool, right? And you just take this thing. Look at that. You can put it right here. It comes with the, with the glasses, right? If you want to put these on here, you can use it on the ears like this. As long as you protect your eyes, you can use it up around the face. And in my opinion, you can use it up around the head. Now, of course, FlexBeam says no, 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 not to be used on the head, right? But here's the thing. You don't want to use it on the head anyways because the head, the brain, has got this big skull and that bone is hard to penetrate. So you're not going to like, you're not going to radiate the brain with the flex beam, but what you can do, right, is protect your eyes and you can use the flex beam with this concept of treating the superficial skin layers for deeper structures, you can still stimulate the brain. As long as you protect your eyes, right, for example, the ears, there are lots of sensory nerve endings in the ears. The vagus nerve has got endings in the ears. We've all know about the vagus nerve and how important that is, right? So we can use the flex beam, we can put it on the ears like this, we can treat all of those sensory um, nerve endings in the ear, we can help to balance the vagus nerve with this. We can get at deeper structures. We can use the flex beam to tackle cranial nerves in the same way, right? We can look at like so many things, right? It is so much fun. You're going to have a blast using it. You're going to see results. You're going to be happy with it. And arguably, it's probably easier than the... Uh, outer, the double, the outer, outer wand of double power. <laughs> this is probably going to be a harder, uh, <laughs> a harder gig for you to figure out. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful. Please consider all these options with the flex beam. Reach out as always, if you have any comments, reach out uh, to me personally through my website. If you'd like some greater assistance, I do this stuff at no charge. You can get copies of my book at no charge on the website. And if you're going to buy a flex beam, use the link, support the channel, get a discount. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.